Hi everyone, uh, Eric here again, uh, continuing to document my journey with Advent to try and fix my sleep and breathing issues. Um, I'm getting ready for my virtual consultation with a sleep and sinus expert. So there's going to be an Advent provider who's going to be asking me some questions, and then I'm going to be asking them some questions, and we're going to see if uh, Advent's going to be a right fit for me. Um, boy, would it be embarrassing if it wasn't. <laughs> Even though I've been working at Advent and, you know, I, I have a pretty good grasp of the, the process and the options that are out there, um, I still have questions. Hi, Eric. Hello. So, I'm Tiffany. I'm one of the physician assistants. Um, and so, for me, it's kind of like three consults. We basically just kind of go over, like, what we do at Advent to see if you would be a candidate for that or answer kind of questions about that. Um, any, uh, like, formal medical advice or ordering of prescriptions or ordering of any testing, we'd have to do, like, an official new patient visit, which we could also do today if you want. Okay, great. Uh -huh. So what's been going on? So uh, about six years ago, uh, I was diagnosed with severe sleep apnea. Um, I went through uh, uh, two uh, uh, sleep studies, in-lab sleep studies, um, and I was told that I had severe sleep apnea. Uh, so I was given a BiPAP, um, and, uh, I've struggled to use it for years. Uh, the sleep clinic I was working with was very unhelpful. Um, I was never given any options other than the CPAP. Um, and in addition to that, uh, I really haven't been able to breathe well through my nose, uh, for my entire life. I, I mean, I, I broke my nose in third grade 27 years ago, um, and I've had headaches and you know, kind of issues breathing through both nostrils at any point in time. So uh, that's where I'm at. Um, haven't used the CPAP in, God, I don't know, three years now. Um, okay. was it's, never, a bi it's a BiPAP though, it's, you Yes, said? it's a BiPAP. Okay. And I was never able to uh, honestly have it on for more than two hours. Um, okay. I'd either wake up with it off or I'd, you know, rip it off, wake up, try and put it back on and wouldn't be able to fall back asleep. Uh, yeah. It was always painful. It was always difficult. Um, you know, I, it has the feature where it kind of ramps up the pressure over the first yeah. 30 minutes and, you know, that would help me get to sleep, but I, I would not be able to sleep with it on, uh, uh, at full power. What kind of mask is it? Is it full face? I've tried every mask that's out there. Uh, I've tried the nasal pillows. I've tried the nose only. I even shaved my beard and did the full face, which, oh God, I hope I don't ever have to do that again. Um, yeah, yeah uh, so I've tried I'm them all. Either. We can work around it. All right, great. Um, so, you know, basically, kind of, I think that we could help you because, you know, what we do here at Advent is um, not only treat sleep apnea and snoring, but figure out a way where people can comfortably do that. And a lot of the time, the reason why people aren't comfortable with the treatment regimen is because they don't breathe well through their nose, like you said. The number one reason why people don't tolerate the CPAP mask is because of nasal obstruction. Um, so there are different options for sleep apnea. I'm assuming because you had BiPAP and you said it was severe, it's actually probably pretty severe when they put you on BiPAP versus CPAP. So that's still, you know, there's other options, but it may not treat it as well as the BiPAP mask would. But if we got to that point, our goal would be so you could comfortably wear your CPAP or BiPAP mask and leave it on all night and like it. And if we can't get you there, we would talk about the other options for sleep apnea and snoring, um, which are throat concerns. So really sleep apnea is, is collapsing of the throat structure. So it's not really the nose. But the nose plays a part because if you don't breathe well through your nose at night, picking one of these options, whether it's a CPAP mask or like the oral appliance for sleep apnea, it won't work if, you, if you're constantly breathing with your mouth open and you can't breathe through your nose. So they're kind of tied together. Okay. So... Um, if you are interested in kind of pursuing um, some treatment options for that, we can transition you right into your first pa patient visit right now if you would like to. Um, sure, yeah. If that's not too much trouble, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so typically what, what I would do is just send you a consent through the intramail um, portal um, that you are logged into right now to do this visit. Um, basically, just sign a consent for agreeing, agreeing to treatment. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we can do that at some point. And then also with a new patient visit, then I'll actually conduct a physical exam through the video camera. And I'm going to take down all of your medical history and everything. And then we can figure out a plan of action. So um, you said, how long ago was your last sleep study? Uh, six years, I think. Okay. Um, we probably want to update your numbers. Mm -hmm. Typically sleep apnea, um, 
wouldn't get a whole lot better unless if you had a significant change like a surgery on your throat or significant weight loss or something like that. Mm -hmm. But we do want the most recent numbers of how often per hour you're actually pausing so we really know the severity because that will change kind of the recommendations. And we want you to know, like, to make the best decision for yourself based on what treatment choice you're going to make. That sounds great. Okay, so we'll probably actually do the home sleep study. Yeah, that sounds Um, much nicer. And that might be a little more comfortable for you. There's no reason why you can't do a home one. So typically the reason we do an in-lab one is if we're ruling out like insomnia, narcolepsy, restless legs, we can't diagnose that at home. Uh, But if it's just obstructive sleep apnea, we can do the home one. Oh, great.